Sports Talk 99.1 FM KPGM. My name is Max Gross. Joining me are distinguished Oklahoma Wesleyan Hall of Famer, former coach, former athlete, former official. We have Roger Skelly. How are we doing tonight, Roger? Well, you got one thing right, former. <laughs> current broadcaster, <laughs> yeah. current fishing buddy of Eagle head coach, Tony oh, Boswick. I'm just having a talk with him tonight. I've got him all jacked up tonight. You know. I'm sure. We got Kansas Wesleyan in town. The Coyotes are 7 and 10. The Eagles are 11 and 5. Oklahoma Wesleyan, Roger, coming off of that 79 to 72 loss at Southwestern on Monday. I made the trip out there and it just seemed like the Eagles couldn't get a key stop when they needed to. The shooting percentage down in the upper 30s. A good chance for Oklahoma Wesleyan to rebound, but you got to wonder how tired those legs are after a Saturday game after a Monday game, now playing here again on Wednesday. Well, I uh, I don't put an awful lot of stock in that, Max, because he's playing so many players. So really, I suspect if you kept track the other night, was there anybody that would have played more than 20, 22 minutes? So really, as young as these guys are, uh, now that game we did have here with Ottawa was a racehorse ball game. You know, and I could see not getting your legs back as quick maybe after one like that. But, it, it, we, you know, I, w I watched the whole game in the first probably five, seven minutes. You know, we go up about ten. Yeah. You know, I said, you know, we're, we're catching up a, a little bit here. We're going to be all right. And, and we just went flat. And we did. We just struggled uh, and could never quite get there. Yeah, and you know, you asked about the minutes, and I actually do keep track of that. You're lucky, Roger. I am on top of it. It's something I noted throughout that game that the starters played a lot more than they normally would. We had Taylor Miller at about 31 minutes, Brooks Haddock at 30, Caleb Stokes, Kansden Ammons at 28, Litsky at 29. So that's a little bit more. Normally they average about 22, 23 minutes for those starters. So. Uh, it's going to be interesting today against Kansas Wesley and a good defensive team. The Eagles took care of them 80-66 to back in November. This is a team, Roger, that's going to play really tough defense, and it seems like the Eagles are notorious for some slow starts against this Coyote basketball team. Uh, you, you've got it pegged absolutely right. And the other night, our starters did play uh, more. But I'll tell you what I call the uh, the second group, the blue taller team that really like to get down and get after the ball on the floor, everything. They did not play well as a group. Now, I believe uh, less than 10 bench points, which is and, very, very yeah, uncharacteristic. And, and just really struggled. And, and uh, it goes to show you, uh, you got to have everybody. So anyway, uh, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, we're at a point right now, and, and Donnie and I were just talking about it, we're at a point right now we can't afford to lose another conference game. We need to get in that top four uh, to have some home uh, court advantage uh, in the playoffs, you see, and, and they're taking, I think, 10 teams for the conference yes, that's tournament. Right. So there'll be probably uh, some teams that'll play into the others. So uh, we just can't. and. Um, you know, uh, the team is really almost the same team we had last year, but you forget about that one senior, and I think... Uh, yeah, Lance tipped it. I think Lance really was a lot of glue that held this thing together, and um, uh, we uh, I don't see that leader for us right now. That's a, that's a good point, Roger, and uh, Lance was actually in the building on Saturday for that incredible game against Ottawa. It was good to see him. But uh, let's segue to the KCAC standings right now. I think it's important to observe where we are. Bethel at 12 and three, they're in first place. McPherson is 11 and five, they're in second. That's where the Eagles head on Saturday. And then we have Oklahoma Wesleyan and Southwestern, each at eight and four. Southwestern, by way of Monday's victory, has the head-to-head -head advantage right now uh, for that third place. So that would slot Wesleyan into the four seed right now, which is uh, lower than we're used to seeing OKWU in the conference standings. But there still is some time left. Then you have Tabor in fifth place. They are six and five. Ottawa six and six in seventh. Avila four and four. And then Kansas Wesleyan at five and eight in conference play. I will note, Roger, Southwestern and Ottawa are playing right now. 
try to pull up a schedule, but it seems like the Eagles, even though, you know, uh, they, they've taken some lumps here, Roger, I think everything is still in front of them. I'd still say this group controls its own destiny right now. Well, and it always seems to me that when we get to about tournament time, we're usually playing our best, and and uh, but somewhere we got to get started. Now, Bethel, you know, we've played them twice, and we've lost to them twice, so... Uh, you know, they, they'll probably win the conference unless they really go to sleep here somewhere. Now, we do get Southwestern here. That helps. Uh, so, but but as I look at the schedule, we, we can't afford to lose another game. Well, the Eagles have not had any breaks in terms of the schedule recently. You know, you have a game with Ottawa on Saturday. It, uh, you had Bethel last Wednesday, Ottawa Saturday, and then Southwestern on Monday. Kansas Wesleyan is a tough matchup today. And then you go to McPherson this upcoming Saturday. It is not getting easier for the Eagles, but you're going to have to earn your way through no matter what. We got tip-off in about 10 minutes. Kansas Wesleyan in Bartlesville tonight taking on your Oklahoma Wesleyan Eagles. We'll take a quick break. More pregame coverage coming up. It's Oklahoma Wesleyan Hoops on 99.1 FM KPGM. Sorry. The other thing. Yeah. Oklahoma Wesleyan and Kansas Wesleyan getting set for a men's only game here tonight. The Lady Eagles and Lady Coyotes ball game has been postponed to February 8th. We learned yesterday that there was a pending COVID-19 test within the Kansas Wesleyan women's program. We weren't going to get the results back for that in time for Kansas Wesleyan to be able to get on the road from Salina and head on down here. So out of the abundance of caution, they decided uh, to move that game back. I will note, uh, I don't think I touched on it on the broadcast Monday, Roger. Danae Goodwin was named the KCAC Offensive Player of the Week. A great honor for Danae. I think she's deserved it a couple other weeks in her career, but it's always 
really cool to see uh, some of our Oklahoma Wesleyan athletes getting honored at the conference level. And our uh, women's team has uh, played well of late. Yeah, coming on strong. They will, I don't believe they have a game the rest of the week. I had talked with Coach Hadley yesterday. She said she was trying to add an opponent for Saturday, but it sounded like she had been unsuccessful in their efforts. They played Oklahoma City University in a non-conference game. Here at home on Monday, they lost 89-80, to but that was the number five team in the entire NAIA, and they played them within 10 points. So a lot to be proud of for that Lady Eagle group. We're hoping to uh, resume our coverage for them here in the uh, next week or so. Let's talk about this men's battle. Kansas Wesleyan, they come in at 7-10. and 10. They're 5-8 and eight in conference, but this is a team, Roger, maybe a little bit lacking on the offensive end, looking at 28% from three-point but they really pride themselves on defense. It's one of those teams that, you know, if you're not careful, they'll hold you under 60 points and they might sneak away with a win. They snuck up on Oklahoma Wesleyan last February at the very end of the year, held them to a miserable offensive day. This is always a team that I think the whole conference looks at as a very tough matchup just because of the style that they do play. Well, I hope, I'm glad we're at home tonight. It seems to me like we seem to shoot better at home, but I, I would tell you, if I was playing Oklahoma Wesleyan now after what I've seen here recently, I, I would surely switch up and back from uh, a, a zone, and I would take uh, my quickest guy. It's about the same height as Brooks Haddock, and I'd put him on him. Uh, Br Brooks is not real quick, and... Uh, uh, he's got. He, he's just not having to. Used to having to work so hard to get his yeah. shot. And uh, guess what? He, this is his third year. Everybody knows him, and they know how they're going to play him. And so he is going to have to uh, really work hard. The Eagles really leaned on Caleb Stokes in the first matchup. That was one of his better performances of the year. 28 points on 12 of 15 and shooting. An absolutely phenomenal effort from him in that one. Brooks Haddock, though, he's had a couple good games. Scored 20-plus against Ottawa and then had 24 points the other night against Southwestern as well. When you get that combination of Caleb Stokes and Brooks Haddock, yeah, you know, it's possible they could combine for 50, 60 points on any given night. I don't know if there's a better duo in the Casey AC right now. Uh, you're absolutely right, but but Caleb did not have a good game the other night. No, you know, and, and uh, uh, you know, you just it's just hard to figure sometimes. But I I can remember. I don't know that mm. I can remember one game in my whole career where I shot well two halves. I, I I always had one good half. If I didn't shoot well the first half, I knew the second half I would. Now that's crazy, but that's why I play. Well, that's what happened for Caleb Stokes. Three points in the first yeah. half and then 14 down the stretch in the second half. He's a guy that can get those easy buckets at the rim to make things uh, just very efficient for Oklahoma Wesleyan. Let's talk about the starting lineups. First for Anthony Monson and the Kansas Wesleyan Coyotes, not Coyotes, it's Coyotes. They have a six foot junior out of Oklahoma City, Tyus Jeffrey. He averages 11 points per game, a very athletic guard on the perimeter. A 6'2 freshman out of Colwich, Kansas, Easton Hunter, one of the top three point shooters in the conference at 43%. A 5'10 senior, a really good defensive player, Braden White, he's out of Topeka. Then a six-foot senior, Nate Leach, out of Houston, Texas. And then their best player, six-foot-six senior out of Junction City, Kansas, A.J. Range. He has had just six points in the first game against Oklahoma Wesleyan back in November, but he is the best field goal percentage shooter in the entire conference. I note with Kansas Wesleyan, they got about four guys, six-two and under on the floor. It could be a... Fun day for some of the big guys like Jansen Litsky, who has back-to-back double-figures performances. Caleb Stokes, who ate him up the last time. Eagles starting lineup as announced by head coach Donnie Bostwick, assistant Gene Hartman, and Blake Sink. Grad assistant is Kyle Kaminsky. 6'1 sophomore Taylor Miller out of Frisco at Texas Heritage High School. Double figures in two of his last four games. Then you have Brooks Hannock, a 6'2 junior from Muskogee, Oklahoma. We talked about what Brooks is capable of. 20-plus points in his career, now 20 times after Monday's ball game. Six-foot-six sophomore out of Tulsa, Oklahoma, Lincoln Christian High School. Caleb Stokes, the top scorer for Oklahoma Wesleyan on the year, just shy of 17 points per game. The new guy in the starting lineup has been Kasdan Ammons, taking the spot of the injured Austin Poling. Kaz, six-foot-one junior out of Conway Springs, Kansas. Then the lone senior in the starting lineup, six-foot-six 
Jansen Litsky out of Owasso Rejoice Christian High School. Let's talk about Kaz Ammons real fast, Roger. Austin Poling, obviously a spark plug guy on the Eagles, especially on the defensive end, but I think Kaz has stepped up pretty admirably. He has, and I thought, uh, I, I know he had to have bur butterflies, surely, against Ottawa the other night, but I thought he played really well that night. But now, Monday night, uh, or not, yeah, Monday night up at um, <coughs> Southwestern. Southwestern, uh, I, I, I didn't think he had a good game. I thought maybe he may have tried a little too hard. He, he made two or three. Uh, silly fouls, I thought, not staying on the floor. You know, he is really, I think, a spark plug on defense. But uh, he, you know, and and everybody does have off nights. I, I don't. I'm not trying to be critical on anybody. We all have them if you're playing. So sometimes you can't throw it in the ocean. I'm sure you had plenty <laughs> of games like that in your career. <laughs> don't bring it up. We got the Battle of the Wesleyans coming up. When we return, we'll tip this thing off. It's Eagles Hoops on 99.1 FM, KPGM.
Welcome back to the Mueller Sports Center. Oklahoma Wesleyan and Kansas Wesleyan getting set to tip off. Starting lineups being announced on the floor right now. We gave them to you just a minute ago. I want to remind everybody our broadcast is available streaming online, BartlesvilleRadio.com, directly to your mobile device on the free to download Bartlesville Radio mobile app as well. We'd also like to say hi to all of our viewers at home watching on the Oklahoma Wesleyan YouTube page. However, you are joining us tonight. Thank you for joining us. Max Gross, Ash. Justin Gross, Roger Skelly sitting courtside here at the Mueller Sports Center. Quick refresher on the starting lineups. It's Tyus Jeffries for Kansas Wesleyan, Easton Hunter, Braden White, Nate Leach, and A.J. Range. Oklahoma Wesleyan starts Taylor Miller, Kasdan Ammons, Brooks Haddock, Caleb Stokes, and Jansen Litsky. Roger, we got a decent crowd in the building tonight. It seems like the uh, softball team. The women's basketball team, the baseball team, all have some representatives in the house tonight. Some good energy here at the Mueller Sports Center this Wednesday evening. We do, and uh, it, it's nice to start seeing crowd here, you know. And uh, I, you see these games on TV, and you don't see anybody. And uh, I think it affects the players. Yeah, absolutely. It's been an adjustment for everybody. Even at the NAIA level, you know, you're not packing 10,000 people into the field house, but still, it, the games where there's some energy coming from that far side, there is a noticeable difference. Doing the jumping, it is six foot six AJ Range for Kansas Wesleyan wearing the purple Eagles in the home gray. They'll be represented in the center circle by hey, six Jansen, foot six Jansen. Caleb Stokes. Other side, Jay. Other side, Jay. And the ball is up in the air, knocked back, and it is going to be Kansas Wesleyan possessing. Braden White, the senior, will bring it up. This Coyote offense, ninth in the conference at 75 and a half points per game. White gets a pick at the free throw line, swings the ball right for Hunter. Now on the block for range, the top field goal percentage shooter in the conference. Back to the perimeter, it's Nate Leach, top of the key, steps through one defender, kicks it back to the left for White. Up top, Hunter tries a contested three and knocks it down. Easton Hunter coming off of a 15-point performance in the overtime loss to Tabor. Now the Eagles on offense, third in the league at 82 points per game. Miller working hard on Leach on the block right side, throws it to the middle for Litsky, tipped and stolen by the Coyotes. It is Leach taking it the other way. Here's White on the right wing looking for a teammate, finds Leach an open three straight up, missing there, and Litsky hauls in the rebound. Jansen averages four of those boards per contest. Now Brooks Hannock runs the other way for OKWU. Here's Stokes in the paint, gets inside position and throws it down with two hands. Caleb Stokes elevating and celebrating for the Eagles' first bucket. A minute in, three to two, Kansas Wesleyan. Eagle bench with some energy trying to support the defense. Braden White gets a pick on the right wing. Defender falls down. White drives the baseline, skips it back to the perimeter. A three from Jeffries launched and knocked down for the native of Oklahoma City. Two three-pointers have fallen for the Coyotes already. It's six to two. Taylor Miller runs the offense for Oklahoma Wesleyan. Double figures in two of his last four. Here's Litsky up top, freeing Brooks Haddock on the left side, a deadly three-point shooter. This a long two from the left wing, a little bit too much on it. Stokes offensive board, and he's hit from behind on his putback attempt. Stokes, he might have a mismatch down low, Roger. Only one guy the same height as him. Rest of those guys out there are, are you know, 6'2 or shorter. Could be a fun day. That, that's really good to see him, and, and we really ought to be able to control defense and offensive boards a lot because we, we do. We are, uh, got them outsized. Eagles third in the country in rebounding margin as well. Stokes, a 74% free throw shooter, makes the first one. First three points for OKWU tonight. Second free throw up in the air, off front iron and through, and it's 6-4. to four. Eagles defense has given up a couple three-pointers so far. Here's the Coyotes, Braden White pushes a pass right for Leach, now Hunter, and they feed range, short corner right side, backs down Litsky, double team comes, Kansas Wesleyan works it around, here's Leach, left elbow in the paint, he's lost and gets it back to Jeffries on the wing with it. Cross court right for Hunter, gets a pick, Hunter pulls up foul line jumper and knocks it down. The pick and roll game was a vulnerability for the Eagles defense on Monday. Kansas Wesleyan gets a bucket off that play here and it's eight to four. Here's Haddock. Passes left to Stokes. He rises for three. Well short, excuse me, Ammons recovers the air ball and pushes it up and in from six feet out. 
Already another offensive board for OKWU. Eight to six ball game. Eagles defense has been a little lacking on the first couple possessions. Two and a half minutes into this contest, they're down two, having given up some easy ones. Here's Braden White at the foul line, skips it on the block for Range, blocked from behind by Litsky, and out of bounds, it'll stay with the Coyotes. Range had a step on him inside, but Jansen Litsky recovered nicely. I just knew they were going to call a foul on that. It that seems like Jansen's me. been prone to some light whistles. Yeah, yeah. Inbound to Jeffries, left corner, 13 to shoot. They go back to Range, over three defenders. He scores in the paint. A.J. Range had just six points in game one against Oklahoma Wesley and seemingly a non-factor, but he gets a bucket here. 10 to six, Coyotes, fast start for Kansas Wesleyan. Now Oklahoma Wesleyan with it, Stokes left wing, attacks the basket, jump stop, throws it high off the glass and in. Six points for Caleb Stokes already, and we've got scoring at a frantic pace. Eagles pull within two. Here's Jeffries on the right wing with the basketball. Skip pass to A.J. Range up top. Not going to be a threat from beyond the arc. Eagles in a zone defense. Miller kicked the ball at the top. Thought he had a steal the other way. He'll take that. Eagles have switched from man-to-man -to, -man to a zone at times this season. Knowing they have a little bit more size, they can cut off the middle. Kansas Wesleyan, the worst three-point shooting team statistically in the conference at 28%. They're going to force the Coyotes to shoot over them. Here is Jeffries in the middle of the zone. Right block for range. Back up top for Hunter. Extra pass to the corner. Leach drives in. Lost the ball. Jeffries scoops it back up for K-Dub. Back to the perimeter. Hunter tries a triple off right. And Taylor Miller skies and sends a quick outlet pass to Haddock. It's intercepted. Eagles try to go a little bit too quick. Coyotes by two with the ball in transition. Here is White driving to the free throw line. Skip pass left for Hunter. Three in the air and in. Kansas Wesleyan is three of four from downtown. Easton Hunter has eight points, and Donnie Bostwick wants a timeout. 13 to eight Coyotes, and I think that bench unit is gonna come in, Roger. Normally that second group, you like them a lot. They play pretty dang good defense. Hopefully they'll step it up a little bit right here. Well, I was just thinking on that last three there. That young man, that's the second or third one of those I think two. he's made, and I didn't think we Nobody even made a run at him to put a hand in his face. Uh, I, I think this bunch here will, but uh, I think we've got to run at them hard. I don't. I want to know how much bench strength they got. I think we have more bench strength than anybody, but we haven't been making it work to our advantage. Do you think this Eagles team is comfortable playing a zone defense? Well, I, I think Donnie's trying a little bit of everything, maybe to throw them off, but it looks to me like this bunch really moves the ball well. I thought if anybody play a zone, they'd play a zone on us. Kansas Wesleyan has the same five. Eagles have a new five. Kayvon Boston, Brandon Bird, Jaden Litsky, Lenz Ramey, and Valentin Van Putin. Eagles on offense. Here is Boston, right wing, skips it on the block. Jaden Litsky backing down A.J. Range back to the perimeter. Ramey a leaning three, off right. Rebound for Kansas Wesleyan. Coyotes playing with a lot of energy right now. Here's a pass to Nate Leach cutting in the lane and dumps off for Range who muscles one up and in from the center. A.J. Range has four points. It's 15-8 Kansas Wesleyan. Eagles trying to push the tempo the other way, playing their third game in the last five days. This bench unit didn't play very much though on Monday. Here's Boston curling in the lane, pauses, kicks back right for Ramey on the perimeter. Ramey to Bird on the block left side with it. Bird tentative with the basketball, but goes up in the post and misses the shot. Litsky there for the offensive board and tap back. Jaden Litsky, the six foot seven freshman could have an opportunity today. Wesleyan of Oklahoma pulls within five. Kate up with the ball, Easton Hunter has eight points. He works it to range on the elbow right side, thrown underneath for Jeffries in the lane. Jeffries pushes one up, not going to go with a big guy in his face. Eagles in transition, down five. Boston drives, kicks right for Bird. Bird turns around right back to Boston in the corner, and the Eagles reset up at the top with Lenz Ramey. Gets a little space off a screen, launches the three, too much on it, and the Coyotes come down with the board. Five minutes into the game, it's Kansas Wesleyan by five. Jeffries in the lane right side, affected by Bird, and he misses the runner. Wesleyan in transition, it's Van Putin. Athletic with the dribble moves, pass up top, Brandon Bird pulls up for three, and Bird knocks it down! Brandon Bird for three, that's his first made shot since November the 13th. Great to see Brandon Bird get a bucket, only his fourth made three all year. All right, a it's foul all underneath yeah. on Oklahoma Wesleyan. No, no, this foul was on 21 purple. Well, there's and 21 purple, 21 yeah. gray. No, 21 They did purple. call it on range, okay. 
Because I, I was with you a little bit, and then I noticed he pointed on the guy uh, standing up. So the three-pointer will count yep. to make it 15-13, to 13, Kansas Wesleyan, and the Eagles will get the ball on the baseline. You first know, made uh, three. <clears throat> Kansas Wesleyan scored every time down the floor in their first five possessions. Here's Van Putin backing down Jeffries, and he oh, knocks him come down. On. Valentin Van Putin at six foot five and well built. Jeffries just six feet tall. You could tell any contact yeah. was going to be an offensive foul. You got a foul on 21. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There's 21 Gray. Kansas Ooh. Wesleyan, six of its first 11 overall, three of five from three. Don't expect them to shoot the lights out all day long. Two point lead for the Coyotes right now. Hunter on the perimeter. New player into the game. It's Gilbert. He turns around and knocks it down from the post. Rather, Trey Duffy, 17 to 13 now. And Boston not looking, throws it away, and Jeffries intercepts and has an easy layup at the other end. 19 to 13, Kansas Wesley. Donnie Bostwick calling for Jaden Litsky to post up. Ball goes to the left side for Lenz Ramey on the perimeter. Now they get Van Putin on the block left side. Patient as a double team comes to him. Van Putin dribbles back out of it. Now backs down Jeffries. Has the matchup he wants. Kicks to the perimeter. Boston launches a deep three. Too strong. Jaden Litsky, an offensive board. Tap back to his teammate Boston. Shot clock resets to 20. Here is Boston driving, kicking right for Bird. A little shot fake, shot clock at 10. Bird curls around to the left elbow. A leaner too much on it. Rebound tapped around. Bird comes back with it. Gets it to Boston straight away. Head fake, puts it on the deck. Kicks left. Ramey open for three. Way short there. Eagles do not look good on the offensive end. Eagles down to 19 to 13 with 13 minutes to go. And we've got a foul away from the play. It's going to go against Oklahoma Wesley. And they'll get Jaden Litsky here. Max Valentino going to check into the ball game for Jaden Litsky. Couple subs in there for Kansas Wesleyan as well. Micah Lovett, Jackson Maupin, and Trey Gilbert runs on late as well. A.J. Range off the floor, so is Easton Hunter. Inbound goes to Duffy, now up top Maupin. They swing it right for Hunter, who actually stayed out there at the last changeover. Hunter off the pick, drives to the free throw line, kicks it back to the weak side for Lovett. Here is Duffy on the block, dumps underneath for Gilbert. Gilbert fades away from 10 feet. Too strong, rebound is gonna be knocked away and out of bounds by the Coyotes. Oklahoma Wesleyan will possess. Eagles five of 13 from the floor, 38%. That matches their total from the last game against Southwestern. Eagle team shot 50% in Salina back in November. You know, on our uh, what I call the blue collar group here, Lance Ramey's missed three, and he, if he's not hitting and Bird's not hitting, we we uh, we don't have a ton of firepower. Dylan Phillip checks in, and so does Valentino. Get rid of it. Here's Van Putin on the block, kicks right for Bird up top to Phillip, passes tipped. Phillip recovers at mid court, but lost it off his foot. Michael Lovett has an easy layup the other way for Kansas Wesleyan. Eagles are sloppy with the basketball. They've turned it over five times. At the bottom of the league in turnover differential, 12th place on the charts. They're down eight. Here's Dylan Phillip, throws an errant pass back toward midcourt. Ramey recovers. Bird on the left side with it, feeds Valentino in the corner, puts it on the deck, kicks to the corner. Phillip, spot up, three ball. That one short. The Eagles, one of seven from downtown to start off this contest. 12 minutes on the first half clock. They're down eight. Kansas Wesleyan on offense with it. Here's Maupin swinging it left for Hunter. A lot of passing on the perimeter. Kansas Wesleyan more confident in its offensive movement so far. Michael Lovett off a screen, knocks down an open three. And a timeout for OKWU. It's 24 to 13, Kansas Wesleyan. 11.39 on this first half clock. We've got a full timeout on the floor. We'll take a quick break. This is Oklahoma Wesleyan basketball right here on Sports Talk 99.1 FM KPGM.
Oklahoma Wesleyan struggling here in the first half, trailing Kansas Wesleyan 24-13, 11-39 on the first half clock. Starting unit is back in. Taylor Miller, Brooks Haddock, Caleb Stokes, Kaz Ammons, Jansen Litsky. We'll see if the offense can rev it up, but it seems like Oklahoma Wesleyan lacking a little bit more on the defensive side. Haddock is scoreless so far. Stokes has six points. Here is Haddock being hounded on the perimeter, gets it to Stokes at the half-court logo. Stokes one-on-one -on -one spinning, a little turnaround foul line. Jay rattles in, and Caleb Stokes is going to work again today. He's got eight points to lead all scorers on the Oklahoma Wesleyan side. They're down nine now. We'll see what the defense can do as Kansas Wesleyan passes it around. Gilbert up top for Gabe Mack, who checks in. He's missed the last couple of games for the Coyotes. Here's a pull-up from Duffy. And he knocks down the mid-range J from the left side. 26 to 15. Seems like a lot of open shots for the Coyotes right now. 26 points in nine minutes. Here's Stokes on the dribble, backing down at the left elbow. Lobs it for Litsky on the block. Tip pass unintentionally to Miller. Feeds a cutting Ammons. That was a laser pass. And Kaz lays it up and in. 26 to 17. Oklahoma Wesleyan still trailing. Kansas Wesleyan shooting 64%. Micah Lovett right wing dribbling, and he palms the basketball. That's Kansas Wesleyan's first turnover of the night so far. And, and, we, and, and the way they're shooting, we have got to capitalize on every opportunity we get. Got to keep it keep it close right now, and you got to figure Kansas Wesleyan's shooting percentage is going to start to go down. Cut, cut, Here's Stokes, more, high more. post. Backing Man, down shit. Duffy. Caleb Stokes on the left side with it. Throws it away inside, taken by Maupin. He dribbles behind the back around the Wesleyan press, but Ammons pokes the ball away on the next try. He's got a breakaway layup and an easy two for Kaz as he has six points early on here. 26 to 19 now. At the 10 minute mark, seven point Kansas Wesleyan lead. Stunning Oklahoma Wesleyan at home right now. Plenty of time left in the game. Here's Duffy, short corner left side, gets underneath Litsky and draws the foul close to the iron. So foul shots here for Trey Duffy, 6'5", sophomore out of Topeka. 63% foul shooter. Kansas Wesleyan as a team, a tick under 70%. Duffy, an awkward release out in front of him, and he misses that. As good a shooter as he is in the field, I'd bet he shot 80%. And his, his free throw shot almost looks like he doesn't yeah. have any elbows. He not, he's not comfortable shooting it, I can tell you that. <laughs> Second one from Duffy on target that time, and he's up to five points. Five different players have scored for Kansas Wesleyan in this one as they lead 27 to 19, 9.45 on the first half clock. Miller takes it straight to the rim, hesitates, gets fouled, and gets the bucket. There's an aggressive take from Taylor Miller. I, we talked about leadership in the pregame show, Roger. I think we've got an emerging leader in Taylor Miller. He plays with a lot of fire out there on the floor. Uh, absolutely right, and, and I don't know if you noticed it, but the other night up at Southwestern, he did that several times, and every time he was way short, he hit it on the bottom of the backboard in the rim. I don't know how many times, and I told him, I said, get yourself up, up off the floor. You, you're too quick. Three-point play converted. It's 27-22. Eagles playing a little bit of press. Lob pass right in front of us. Gabe Max skated with the basketball, no whistle. And Kansas Wesleyan has it with Lovett up top. Eagles in that 2-3 zone. Duffy finds the middle of it at the foul line. A spin move, tough shot over Caleb Stokes, high up the class and in. Uh, give credit to Trey Duffy. That was a nice move in the low post. 29-22. High off the glass. Now Caleb Stokes, double team, kicks it left to Ammons, rises for three, and that one off front rim, no good. Rebound for Kansas Wesleyan inside. Nine minutes to go, first half. Love it on the accelerator, spins around one defender, lobs it towards the rim, bad shot. Stokes gets the rebound in traffic. Eagles in transition. Haddock, pass to Miller inside, underhanded to Van Putin, who is hacked on his way to the rim. Nobody wanted to go up for the layup, looked like a three-man weave. Van Putin uh, will go to the thrown, line, I believe. He should have threw that up, because I thought from India he was going to call a travel. Valentin Van Putin, 73% foul shooter. Another guy with kind of an uh, unconventional release, we'll call it. He holds it low, close to his chest. Van Putin has that one spin out. Averages 8.3 points per game in his career against Kansas Wesleyan. Very good athlete coming off the bench for the Eagles. Second free throw. 
Spins up and in this get time. Up, get First up, get point up. of the night. 29-23. Eagles trying to play with some energy. Work, a little bit of full court pressure. Work, work. Donny Bostwick What's fired up on the What's Eagle bench. Guy? Here's What's Tyus Jeffries, gets it into the front court and pauses the offense up top on the right. Gabe Mack, the lefty, throws the ball towards Gilbert. He tries a jumper and it goes down. Another mid-range shot falling. Kansas Wesleyan still can't miss. 31-23, Eagles quickly back the other way. Stokes in the high post to Van Putin, straight up, working on A.J. Range, one of the better defenders in the What's league. Doing? Van Putin looks confused, sends it back left for Miller. Ammons in the corner, dumps it off for Haddock on the post. Pass to Van Putin, tipped away inside. And it'll stay with Oklahoma Wesleyan on the baseline. Eagle shooting 50%, yet trailing by eight here at home. And out rebounding Kansas Wesleyan, Slip. two to one. Got a good screen! But Kansas Wesleyan, 12 of 18 from the field, making the difference right now. Go by. Pass up Go top by. to Miller, 10 to shoot. Jab step, rises for three, misses off right. And a rebound for A.J. Range. He's one of the top rebounders in the conference, just shy of 10 per game. What will the Eagles do on defense here? Micah Lovett with the basketball, might have gotten away with a carry. Ball goes right, Jeffries on the perimeter right side. Steps up to the free throw line, keeps his dribble. Now slings it to the post for A.J. Range. Aggressive, and he is fouled inside. Caleb Stokes, I believe, got a hand on the wrist there. And A.J. Range is going to go to the line for a couple shots. First time in a long time, the fouls have been relatively even. Eagles basically uh, have outfouled their opponents 2-1 to one in the last two ball games. A.J. Range at the free throw line. First one in, 83% foul shooter. Coming off of a double-double in the overtime loss at home against Tabor. Kansas Wesleyan team fighting for its life to try to stay alive in that conference tournament race. Both free throws good from range and it's back to a 10 point advantage at 33 to 23. Here's Miller off the screen from Haddock down to the baseline right. Stokes on the exterior with it. This undersized Kansas Wesleyan defense has played well. Now a runner from Stokes, he's knocked down. No whistle, Van Putin recovers and sets it up and in from underneath. First field goal for Van Putin. Wesleyan makes it an eight point game once again. It's kind of been a back and forth in between six, eight, 10 points. Here's Nate Leach in the corner for the Coyotes. He's double teamed, Nate Leach in trouble and a timeout is called by the Coyotes. There's some good defensive effort trapping a guy that doesn't have much offensive firepower. 7.25 on the clock, 33-25, Kansas Wesleyan out in front. Roger, what are your thoughts right now? Well, that was a good move there, and we, we've got to make a, a – we just got to play stronger defense. I don't care what you say. they got to make themselves tired playing defense. We just think we – right now, I look at us, we almost think if we show up, we'll beat these guys. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of the one, uh, you know – easier spot in the schedule, but you really can't view it that way. We can view it that way sitting here, but the team can't. No, they can't, and, and they've got that big bullseye on their back every time they step on the floor. Everybody wants to take them down. Now, I don't think we've learned that yet. <clears throat> and both these teams playing their third game in five days, so you can't really use the tired legs as an excuse. Kansas Wesleyan played two four-point battles over the last couple of days. Coyotes have the basketball, 15 to shoot. Ball's worked around left for Hunter. Now range on the perimeter, hand off to Hunter, middle of the lane, back to the left side, Leach with it on the attack, drives down to the baseline, turns around, feeds Hunter, three to shoot. Hunter drives in, lobs it over the trees and banks it in. These guys cannot miss. Hunter in double figures now with 10. I don't know if these guys can shoot this good the whole game, but uh, they're shooting a very high percentage. Wesleyan on offense, Haddock on the outside, a leaning jumper, good, just inside the arc right wing. That's the first made shot for Brooks Haddock, one of the top scorers in the conference right now. 34-27, Eagles get a quick steal, Miller snags it, pass to Stokes right side of the lane, readjusts and misses the layup inside. Now flung out to midcourt for Kansas Wesleyan, two on two, Jeffries had the ball knocked away. And it's out of bounds for Oklahoma Wesleyan. Excuse me, for Kansas Wesleyan. They'll stay with the Coyotes here. 6.33 to go, first half. K-Dub out in front, 34 to 27. Coyotes, for the most part, have led wire to wire in this one. See. Inbound to Jeffries, baseline right, skips it to Range in the middle, and he sets it up and in. Nice play by the Coyotes. Range has eight. Top scorer on the season for Kansas Wesleyan. He averages about 15 and 10. 
Today with eight and three. Here's Haddock up top, stare down three ball, pops out. Eagles need those to start falling. They're one of 10 from three in the first half so far. We're gonna die by that three if we're not careful. Kansas Wesleyan living by it right now. They're four of six. Hunter on the left side with it, gets a pick from range. Sends it back to the corner for Leach. Now on the block left side range. Up top, Jeffries juggles the basketball, fires up a three and it's banked in. <laughs> It's been that kind of night they for the Eagles. 39-27, 12 points, ties the biggest lead all night. Eagles got to find something here. Here's Haddock curling, standing at the top of the key, steps back, working on Hunter. Pivots, hands off to Litsky. Brooks gets the ball back. Two defenders on him. They pass to the weak side. Ammons rises for three, and that's off Boy, front iron. No that's the shot Kansas board. Wesleyan wants you to take. No offensive board. 12-point <laughs> deficit. Here is White with the basketball now. Hunter, left side, a pass thrown to the corner. Jeffries went across the end line and flipped it back into play. Eagles get a steal. Miller has three steals. Momentum three for Stokes. Off right, rebound tapped out to the perimeter, and the Coyotes come away with it. Two on two. Here's Jeffries in the lane, steps around Stokes, and whistled for a foul. Jeffries flipped it in. My goodness, nothing going Oklahoma Wesleyan's way right now. Ten points now for Jeffries. So he becomes the second Coyote player in double figures. 5.02 on the first half clock, and it's 41-27. to Who would have thought this offense that ranks near the bottom in so many categories in the conference would come in here and shoot close to 70% in the first half. Jeffries at the line for a possible three-point play. That whistle went on Miller. Jeffries, 51% foul shooter. Hopefully the Eagles can steal a point here. But Jeffries is able to convert. 42 to 27, Eagles down 15 at home. Wednesday night hoops on 99.1 FM KPGM. Here is Dylan Phillip on the perimeter, pick and pop three. That one off right, Eagles one of 11 now. Kansas Wesley in a quick board. Eagles haven't gotten an offensive board in the last seven minutes. Here's Duffy near the free throw line. Handoff Hunter, left elbow, pass back out to the perimeter for White. Eagles trying to rotate their zone defense. Jeffrey skips it to the middle for Duffy. Turnaround six footer, off back iron and a rebound by Litsky. A rare miss from Kansas Wesleyan in this first half. Here's Ramey, pass to the corner for Bird as the Eagles have a lot of bench guys out there. Jansen Litsky barrels into the defensive player and flips the ball up and in. I thought that was an offensive no, foul. No, he didn't one. get hit that hard, but I thought I thought that's what he was going to call. Made shot for Fight Jansen Litsky, a chance for a three-point play. Foul goes on Trey Duffy. Former official Roger Skelly said he went down easy. <laughs> I'll believe him. Anthony Monson, Kansas Wesleyan head coach, doesn't like it. What I want to know is which radio station are you working take for? Take it deep, take it deep. Litsky hits the Stop free it. throw. It's 42 to 30. Spread, spread, Eagles a little bit spread, of backcourt pressure. Donnie Bostrick spread, trying to spread, fire spread. up his troops. Here's a three ball left side from Easton Hunter. A little bit long. Rebound for Bird. Eagles forced a couple of misses in a row. They need to turn it into buckets on the other end. Four minutes left before halftime. Bird at the top of the key to the free throw line. Left side three from Phillip on target. And finally, the Eagles get a three-pointer to go down again. Dylan Phillip, a 26% outside shooter, hit five in his last home game here against Ottawa. It's 42-33. to 33. Eagles building a little bit of momentum right now. They've scored the last six points. 3.39 on the first half clock. Kansas Wesleyan a little bit stagnant in the half court set. Here's White feeding Duffy low block. Up top Jeffries now around left side of the arc for Hunter. In the middle on defense, Ethan Spear. Duffy, a right elbow jumper, rattles off. Three straight stops for Oklahoma Wesleyan's defense. Boston runs the middle of the floor. Underhand to Phillip. Ramey steps into a straightaway three. Off towards the right and a rebound inside for the Coyotes. Ramey off target so far today. Kansas Wesleyan on offense. Jeffries runs around the defender on the baseline, gets in the middle of the lane, misses the layup. Rebound tipped out of bounds. Last touch by the Eagles. 3.03 on the clock, first half. Range is going to check back in for the Coyotes. So will love it as Duffy and White sit down. Jackson Maupin also runs on late to replace Hunter. Maupin coming off of a knee injury. You can see the brace if you're watching online on his left leg. It's about a year ago. 
He made his road to recovery. Coyotes happy to have him back. Illegal screen set along the baseline by the Coyotes. I think it was the man we were just talking about, Maupin, who will pick up the, the offensive foul. Three minutes even to go, Roger. Eagles down nine. It feels like a big three-minute stretch of the ball game. The Eagles could pull within one possession. That would be huge. We, we were down 14 a little bit ago. Yep, Eagles have scored the last six over the last two minutes. Boston drives the lane and loses the ball inside. Stolen by Spear. Coyotes run the floor. Love it. Had the ball slapped at, but feeds Range, who runs into Litsky. What's the call? Offensive foul. Crowd likes that one. We need a couple of plays, Roger. Some fast break buckets, some big plays like that to get this crowd going. Probably the best crowd we've had all year. Unfortunately, not at a lot to get fired up about tonight so far. Well, we're not done yet. I'm still hoping uh, you're we're right, going to catch right. fire. Now, I will say uh, Kansas Wesleyan has uh, not shot as well here in the last three or four minutes. So Now, they've slowed down. But we we haven't taken some high percentage shots, and we have uh, turned it over a little bit. It's Miller, Bird, Philip Litsky, and Ramey, the five on the floor. Jansen Litsky, mid-post left side, working on Duffy. Drop step, banks it in from close range. Five for Jansen Litsky over the last two and a half minutes, and the Eagles pull within seven. What can another stop do here? It's an eight-nothing run right now. Here's Duffy spinning inside in the middle of the lane, has that one fall in. Trey Duffy has been very aggressive, nine points Ready, tonight. Man. He only averages six a game. 44 to 35, Kansas Wesleyan out in front right now. Two minutes to go shot, before shot, half. Phillip looks lost with the ball, gets it to Ramey. And now extended from the free throw line right. Miller dump off to Bird on the baseline. Kansas Wesleyan active defense, but a foul is committed by Lovett. That'll put Bird on the line for one and one. Eighth team foul against Kansas Wesleyan. First time in the last five halves the opponent has committed more fouls than Oklahoma Wesleyan. Bird goes to the line, eight of 10 this year. Kayla, good chances. Front end of the one and one is good. Kayla. Bird, four points tonight. Best performance for him in a while. Stokes comes in for Jansen Litsky. Eagles pull with an eight with that last made free throw. Bird has one more. Eagles shoot it at 71% as a team. Second one, soft touch, not there. Rebound tapped around. And it will be Kansas Wesleyan who comes down with it. Eagles only out rebounding the Coyotes by one. Top five rebounding margin team in the nation against an undersized Coyotes group. Some uncharacteristic numbers in this first half. We'll talk about those at halftime. Errant pass off of Spears back. Ramey gets the steal, challenges Jeffries at the rim, but it's a layup and a bucket for Lenz Ramey. His first made shot after missing four in a row from beyond the arc. It's 44 to 38. Minute 25 to go before halftime. Love it, dribbling out up top with some space between him and the nearest defender. Now he steps up to the top of the arc, gets a pick from Duffy, kicks it right for Maupin, curls around the top of the arc, throws it weak side for Spear on the right wing. Spear driving, kicking left, Love it for three, way too strong. Rebound by Phillip, minute three to go, first half. Eagles down six. Miller, handoff to Dylan Phillip on the perimeter. Now Stokes faces up Duffy. Works on him on the baseline. Had a little bit of space, throws it away. Sticky hands for Duffy, he gets the steal. Coyotes in transition, Maupin in the corner, and now they'll get it back to Jeffries up top to slow it down. 43 on the game clock, 23 on the shot clock, roughly. Anthony Monson from the Coyote sideline telling them to slow it down. Shot clock at 12, Jeffries on the half court logo. High post for Spear, handoff back to Lovett on the right wing. Miller guards him, pass up top, Stokes denies it, he gets the steal, handoff to Phillip, sends it forward to Ramey, another way, breakaway layup, and Ramey scores, it's 44 to 40, shot clock turned off with 17 seconds remaining in the first half, Eagles slowly but surely chipping away at this, they're on a 13 to 2 run over the last five minutes. Seven seconds, love it, in front of the scorer's table. Five seconds, steps to the top of the key. Funnels it right for Jeffries, hand in his face for three. It's an air ball just before the horn. Caleb Stokes, full court shot, won't count. Didn't go anyways. Wasn't the prettiest first half, but the Eagles were able to close out on a 13 to two run over the last five minutes to make a 15 point lead seemingly disappear. We'll have the halftime show coming up with stats and analysis on the way. You're listening to Oklahoma Wesleyan Hoops on KPGM.
45 to 40 is our halftime score. We had a late modification to the score. So Kansas Wesleyan 45, Oklahoma Wesleyan 40. So a 13 to 3 run to end the first half. Roger Skelly, the Eagles, uh, you know, down 42 to 27 with five minutes to go. Obviously, that says a lot about the first 15 minutes, but let's focus on the last five minutes of the half. Uh, in your eyes, what went right for the Eagles to lessen the, this deficit right now? Well, I, we started doubling up the ball uh, part of the time, trying to in the back court or not in the fourth court. I just thought we played stronger defense, basically team defense. Uh, but uh, I'll tell you, I, I don't know of anybody that we have played this year that shot 62% uh, first half. We shot 45%, but we only made, uh, what, two of five on threes? Two of 15. Uh, yeah, two of 15. <laughs> I mean, yeah, 15, not five. But you know, you, you, you're going to live and die on that three if you're not hitting them. And yeah. uh, we started uh, getting some higher percentage shots. But, uh, you know, we, we can't afford to get down 15 points. No, I, I not mean. Not to this bunch. The deficit was quickly erased, and you look at a Kansas Wesleyan team that uh, not very good on the offensive end in a lot of different categories, but you wouldn't know that by the way they played in the first half tonight. 11 points from Tyus Jeffries, 10 from Easton Hunter, 8 from A.J. Range, 9 from Trey Duffy off the bench. He's been more impressive than anybody. Eagles have been really balanced, Roger. Caleb Stokes has 8. Kaz Ammons has 6, 5 from Jansen Litsky, 3 from Dylan Phillip, 2 from Jaden Litsky, 3 from Van Putin, 4 from Ramey, just 2 from Haddock, 4 from Bird, 3 from Miller. If you lost track, Roger, that's 10 different names have scored a basket for Oklahoma Wesleyan well, in this first half. And I think some of the guys take a look. I know Lance Ramey's a great shooter, but he missed 3 of 5 tonight from the uh, three-point line, and I, I think he's got to say, hey, we've got to get the ball in the hands of guys making it, and that's not me. Well, yeah, and Brooks Haddock has just two points so far. He had 19 in the first game in five career games against these guys. He averages 13 per game. He's only shot the ball three times. It seems like Brooks gets so much of the attention of the opposing defense no matter what, but he's a guy very hard to hold down, especially in the home gym. Uh, absolutely, uh, but I'm just telling you, he, he's got somebody just like a blanket all over him. And uh, they're bumping him when he shoots, and, and he's got to make a decision on when he's got a good shot and when he doesn't. Yeah. <clears throat> so, you know, we're down five. I, I think we would have taken that anywhere, but we, uh, Caleb Stokes made a terrible turnover down there. I felt like we had the ball down underneath, really, and paid a terrible pass, and, and it got away from us. And and uh, I felt we should add two there. So that would have made us only down three, you know? Yeah, and, there, there's and, a couple uh, sloppy turnovers. Overall, Eagles turned it over eight times, nine for Kansas Wesleyan. At one point, it was five to nothing. I think Stokes has played a, overall a pretty good first half. You, you saw early on, Roger, there were some really easy looks for Stokes in the post. And then it seemed like the Coyotes did make some adjustments. They really, uh, you know, they're, they're a small team. They play four guards out there. Uh, but they've been shading a second defender on them. I think if the Eagles can get the ball rotation hammered down, you can pass out of those double teams into open looks on the perimeter. And I think that three-point percentage, it's going to be better than 13% for Wesleyan in the second half. Well, I think one of our weaknesses is we do not do a good job getting the ball into the post. And, now you could uh, hear Donnie screaming yeah. at times to get the ball into the post. And, and these guys have got to learn you don't pass the ball when he's open. you got to pass the ball when he's starting to come open. And we, we just haven't done a good job with that. And uh, But I'll tell you, one thing I noticed, the offensive boards, when we weren't making any threes, we only got one shot. We never got a thing. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, but maybe we've caught some life here, uh, hopefully, in that last uh, five minutes. And uh, hopefully we can pick up right there to start the second half. But, I mean, defensively, we got to understand. we got to have a hand in everybody's face. If Duffy gets a ball in the middle or the big guy gets a ball in the middle, we got to double him up now, right now. Yeah. And I, I think Duffy, we ought to be fronting him more rather than playing behind him. Well, he's been able to find the holes in the zone. I, you know, this Eagle team has, has tossed out the zone defense from time to time. But, you know, I, I, I'm no basketball expert. I'm not Jim Beheim by any means. But it just seems like the Eagles are not very comfortable with the responsibilities of the 2-3 zone defense. No, and I think that's relatively new. And, and I think part of it is uh, 
bunch, especially in the first bunch, you know, we don't have an awful lot of overall team quickness. Yeah. And so I think that's some of the things he's doing. And, and I think he's going to start playing with a lot of different guys, trying to figure out what he wants to do because we're at a point now we can't afford to lose a game, and we got to get after it. Well, the Eagles have a golden opportunity right now, Roger, as we look at the conference scoreboard. 92-86, to 86, Ottawa on top of Southwestern with three seconds left. Eagles and Southwestern had the same record going into the uh, day in the conference standings. Ottawa is a couple of games behind, so if the Eagles can come back to win, they would jump over Southwestern. We'll give you a couple more conference scores when we return. Second half on the way. Eagles down 45-40 to 40 here at home tonight against Kansas Wesleyan. And it's OKWU Hoops on KPGM. Fifty, or excuse me, 45 to 40 is the halftime score here. Oklahoma Wesleyan trailing Kansas Wesleyan at home. Quick check of some uh, scores around the Kansas Collegiate Athletic Conference. Looks like Friends going to get a victory over St. Mary. Ottawa closed it out 93 to 88 over Southwestern. Those are the early games. Uh, Bethany leads Sterling 42 to 35. Bethel a big on York right now 56 to 42. McPherson. Saturday's opponent for Oklahoma Wesleyan leads Tabor 43-34. to And, of course, our score right here, 45-40. to Getting set for the second half. Max Gross, Ashton Gross, Roger Skelly. Coverage of Oklahoma Wesleyan basketball on 99.1 FM KPGM. Streaming online, BartlesvilleRadio.com. Directly to your mobile device on the free-to-download Bartlesville Radio mobile app. Our audio overlaid with video as well on the Oklahoma Wesleyan YouTube channel. 
Uh, it's going to be an interesting second half, Roger. I want to see how the Eagles obviously defend, and that's going to bleed into rebounding. Right now, the Eagles with just a 16 to 14 advantage on the glass. I think obviously, you know, it's hard to get rebounds when the opponent isn't missing any shots, but that's where the Eagles can really make a difference when they miss shots on the offensive end. I would like to see them attack it on the offensive class. Five out there to start the half. Taylor Miller, Kasdan Ammons, Brooks Haddock, Caleb Stokes, and Jansen Litsky. Kansas Wesleyan breaks the huddle with Braden White, Easton Hunter, Nate Leach, Tyus Jeffries, and A.J. Range. Eagles are going to start with the basketball going from right to left on your radio dial. Kansas Wesleyan shot it at 58% in the first half. Oklahoma Wesleyan at 48%. And looks like we're about ready to get it going here in the second half. Oklahoma Wesleyan closed the first half on a 13-3 run. Hopefully that momentum can propel them into the lead. K-Dub led the entire 20 minutes of the first half. Eagles with the ball. Miller at the free throw line off a pick. Throws it underneath the Stokes. Another two-handed jam for Caleb. He throws it down to start off the half, and the Eagles are going to take that. 45-42, Stokes in double figures with 10. That's the 30th time in his Eagle career he's had at least 10 points. Here is Kansas Wesleyan on offense with Tyus Jeffries standing around Hunter to the corner for Leach. Seems like Oklahoma Wesleyan clamping down a little bit more on this first possession. 10 to shoot, Leach spins at the line, show, throw, throws it mid-range for A.J. Range, and he knocks down that jumper, and he's in double figures with 10 points as well. Three different Coyotes with at least 10 points. Trey Duffy has nine as well. 47 to 42, here's Miller on the pick and roll. Kicks right, Ammons for three, up in the air and in. Kaz Ammons knocks it down. He's tied a career high with nine points here tonight in his fourth career start for the Eagles. They're down just two. Eagles scoring the ball well so far. Let's see if they can get a defensive stop. Braden White throws it right for Hunter. Now Jeffries with the ball on the right side in the corner. Crosses over, passes to range at the right elbow. Hucks a pass for White, has to leap for it in the left corner. Back to the top of the key, Leach sizes up a triple, off right, rebounded by Miller. Eagles could tie or take the lead. Miller runs the floor, passes left, Ammons. Back to Miller up top, Kaz open for three in the corner and pops it in. Oklahoma Wesleyan takes the lead. 48-47, a new career high for Kaz Ammons. The first time in his Eagle career he's ever been in double figures. 48-47. 18-18 on the second half clock. Jeffries, elbow right, swinging left to Leach in the corner. Hunter, a shot fake, gets a pick from range. Hunter driving, keeps the dribble at the foul line, works right for Jeffries, eight to shoot. Hunter up top, hand in his face, three ball, clangs around, offensive board for range, ball poke free, out of bounds, stays with the Coyotes. But better defense so far in the first two minutes, Roger, for Oklahoma Wesleyan. I, I just think that on A.J. Range, we need to front him more. You know, man, don't let him get down that far inside. White gets it to range on the elbow left side. Ammons knocked at the ball. It's on the deck, loose. Haddock diving for it at midcourt, tipped into the backcourt. White comes away with it. It's an over and back call. <laughs> Eagles get a break there. I think I, the referees I, are going to discuss. Brooks Haddock dove this. for it at midcourt. He touched the basketball. Anthony Monson can't believe it. Everybody on the Kansas Wesleyan side a little fired up. Uh, I know what I saw. I'm going to wait to say He's it. He's saying let's go with your call. It, it should be their ball. Yeah, it should be. I, I didn't want to give them any information that they didn't necessarily <laughs> need at the time. <laughs> you're, but, you're so congenial, Max. But that's good effort, though. The Eagles make an impact on a 50-50 ball. It seemed like they were a half step late in a lot of those on Monday in the loss to Southwestern. But it's, I'll tell you what, it's good to see them really getting after the ball. Though. Six to shoot. Here's Hunter. Left side three ball up and in. Easton Hunter from downtown for the third time. He leads the Yotes with 13 points. Kansas Wesleyan back in the lead. Here's Brooks Haddock on the right side. Rises from 18. Rattles in a jumper. Signature Brooks Haddock rising, firing, and filling it up. Eagles don't get back on defense. Range in the lane right side. He misses a gimme down low, and Stokes gets the rebound. Knotted at 50 here. Eagles once trailed by 15 not long ago. Stokes top of the key. Works on Jeffries. Has a smaller defender on him. Stokes inside a little 10-foot leaner. Knocked down. Air ball recovered by Ammons. Here's Haddock rising left side. Three ball. He's knocked down as well. Eagles don't get a whistle. Ball goes across the baseline. 
and it will be Kansas Wesleyan's possession after a hectic trip down the floor for OKWU. And that wasn't his shot. He was so far off balance. I don't think he got bumped that hard, but that, that's not the shot to take. Kansas Wesleyan with the ball. White has it. Up high on the right side, lob pass left for Leach, puts it on the deck, gets underneath Leach in a field of defenders, throws it right for Hunter. He tries a tough floater, bumped, and gets the bucket. That's a tough shot for Easton Hunter, and he's having one of his best performances. 15 points for him for the second consecutive game. A bright freshman on this Kansas Wesleyan roster. Coyotes are going to be a force in the future. They'll get Jun Murdoch eligible next year. A transfer from Friends University. Hunter converts the three-point play. Flat, 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 flat. 53 to 50 now. The tally, Kansas Wesleyan has the advantage. Eagles, a lot of motion away from the ball. Miller has it at the top of the key. Gets a pick from Litsky toward the left side. Has it on the wing. Push pass right for Ammon. Shot fake drives. Rises from the foul line. Way off there. Long board kicked back out to Stokes. Stokes in the middle of the lane from seven feet. The floater is not there. And Range comes away with the rebound. He's got ten points and seven boards. Coyotes with some momentum. Jeffries inside. Shovels it. Around to Leach, his shot blocked by Kaz Ammons. Miller sends it back forward to Kaz at the rim, and he is hit hard from behind. And Ammons will go to the line for a couple. A lot of energy out there, no poor intent, I don't think. Ammons was rising, uh, the defender challenged him from behind. I don't think it was, but boy, a guy could have got really hurt I think hurt Kaz got a little bit further under the rim than he would have liked. Sometimes in a full sprint, it's hard to gather yourself for that layup. How about Cass tonight, though? Career high, 12 points for him. Uh, you know, he come out here and got a rebound. He was the one that stole that one down there. I'll tell you, he's he's a spark that we don't, we <laughs> he's one of the few sparks we got. And nice to see him adding from the three-point line about 25% this year. That's a number that's gotten better as his career has rolled along. It's also 9 of 10 from the stripe on the season. Make it 10 of 11, pulls the Eagles within one. 16 minutes to go in this contest. Eagles trail Kansas Wesleyan, 53 to 52. Here's Braden White with it on the right side. Back up top, Jeffries. Ball goes on the perimeter left for Hunter. Hunter off a pick from range. Hunter passes right for Jeffries. Shot fake, puts it on the deck, crosses over, feeds Hunter straight away, had a step, passed it up. It goes right side, Leach rises from the three ball, three ball from the corner, and it does not go. Here is Haddock up top with it. Wesleyan on offense. Haddock trying to create, gets in the lane, throws it off of a K-Dub player's foot, and it will be Oklahoma Wesleyan basketball. Caleb Stokes saying Tough. he wants that pass high instead of low. Tough pass to make. Brooks Haddock normally doesn't get into the lane that freely. Brooks is going to come off. Dylan Phillip checks in. Haddock struggled today, just the four total points. Stokes comes out as well. Van Putin takes his spot. Not quite the five for five substitutions. Eagles down one. Inbounding baseline left, and we've got a whistle away from the play. Kansas Wesleyan ties up an OKWU player. Whistle will go on Trey Gilbert, a junior out of Holcomb, Kansas. That was a good call. Eagles will try to get it in here. Goes to Miller, left corner, facing up Jeffries. Little jab step for Taylor Miller. Puts it on the deck, gets toward the rim, kicks it right. Phillip open for three and buries it. Dylan Phillip from downtown, and Oklahoma Wesleyan back in front, 55-53. 15-20 on this second half clock. Eagles lead by two. Here's a lob at the rim for Jeffries, and he lays that one up and in, a backdoor cut. And Jeffries has his first bucket of the second half to knock things back up at 55 apiece. Eagles from the pick and roll play. Miller stops at the free throw line left side. Ammons with the ball outside, crossing over. Back to Van Putin. Faces up range, a good defender on him. Ramey curls open at the top of the key. Lenz dribbling with it. Turns around and feeds Van Putin on the exterior with it. Shot clock at 10. Van Putin, top of the key, drives right, throws it left, and it's intercepted, and a foul called on Miller as Jeffries stepped in front of that one. Eagles turn it over for the first time in the half. We're our own worst enemy sometimes. Seems like when everything goes right, one little silly mistake kind of thwarts the momentum. Kansas Wesleyan ball. Eagles defend with Bird, Van Putin, Ammons, Phillip, and Ramey. Mostly a bench unit out there. Ammons the only starter, but he has a lot of chemistry with these guys. Here is Jeffries facing up Ammons on the block right side. 
Jeffries has that shot blocked. Loose ball picked up inside, and it goes to Duffy. Middle of the lane, Duffy throws it high off the glass. Not there. Battle for the board. Phillip wins it for the Eagles. Phillip throws it to the corner. Lens Ramey saves it from going out of bounds. Phillip touch pass. Van Putin left side drives. Dumps underneath the bird. Throws it right for Ammons. Rises for three. Kaz has another. 17 for Ammons tonight. And the Eagles go back out in front by three. It's 58-55. 14 minutes to go. Eagles up three. They were down by 15 with five minutes to go in the first half. They've turned that around. Kansas Wesleyan works it around the arc. Hunter on the left side to Jeffrey straight away. Stare down three. Too strong. No, it falls through off back rim. Shooters touch. And timeout on the floor. 13-40 on the clock. 58 apiece. Kansas Wesleyan and Oklahoma Wesleyan scrapping here. The Coyotes lost 97-93 to McPherson on Saturday. They lost by four to Tabor in overtime on Monday. A lot of close games for this Coyotes team. It's going to be a fight to the finish, it seems, Roger. I tell you, <coughs> there's. Uh, it looks to me like maybe eight of these teams on any given night, somebody can get beat. So you're absolutely right. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Whoever gets hot uh, may win it all. Maybe have a dark horse. So anyway. 13.49 on the clock, knotted up at 58. Great game going on here. Eagles have mostly that second unit out there. Look at the shooting percentages, Roger, leveled off. Both teams at 51.16% down wow. to the hundredth. These teams are leveled, both 22 of 43. Van Putin top of the key with it. Oklahoma Wesleyan on offense. Bird left wing, puts it on the deck, turns around, gets it to Phillip on the perimeter. Eagles 6 of 20 from downtown. Phillip crosses over, spins, tries a little floater inside. Not there. Loose ball scooped by the Coyotes. Braden White pushes it forward for Hunter on the right side. Eagles defense a little bit out of place. Now they readjust and get back into their set spot. Hunter on the right side goes to Spear in the corner. Lob on the block for Duffy. Up with the left hand and in. Duffy becomes the fourth Coyote in double figures. He has 11. 13 minutes to go. 60 to 58, Kansas Wesley. And here's Ramey on the right side with it. Cold first half. Ramey drives inside, little half turn, fall away from six feet, too strong. Rebound knocked around for the Coyotes. They throw it to midcourt, and Hunter slows it down. Now Braden White drives, skips it back Travel. door for Gilbert. Gilbert got away with the walk, has it in the post to Duffy. Right side, they work it around back to Gilbert. Baseline jumper, too strong. Rebound battle inside off of Oklahoma Wesley and out of bounds. Eagles have not been necessarily great at closing out possessions, grabbing the rebounds. Uh, have a smaller two, unit out there. The last two to three times down, uh, we we I thought we had some easier shots, but we didn't make them. So we'll see Ammons and Phillip check out. Top two scorers on the season, Stokes and Haddock check back in. Kansas Wesleyan has it right side. Trey Gilbert. Looking for a cutter, finds Maupin up top, shot fake, got Ramey in the air, pass goes left and it's stolen by Bird. Sends it forward for Ramey, another breakaway layup. Ramey almost got it to go at the rim, he's fouled as they really pulled on his bicep to knock him away. Ramey has four first half points. Duffy is really flopping in the middle. He's been somewhere, somebody's been uh, watching him and, and they've been calling fouls, but he's getting fallen down and he's not getting hit that hard. Lens Ramey, good from the free throw line. Now 10 of 16 on the season from the stripe. Redshirt senior out of Kiefer, Division II transfer from UT Tyler. Both shots good from the stripe, knotted up at 60. Donnie Bostwick calling out to his defense to respond here. Eagles have pulled level. Do they have the energy? Do they have the momentum to take the lead? Here's Michael Lovett. He's out of Tulsa, drives for the finger roll and finishes at the rim. Love its first field goal of the second half. 62 to 60 Coyotes. Bird with the basketball up high. Navigating with it. Throws left for Haddock. Now Stokes, short corner left side, working on Spear. Takes it straight to him. Rises over the top and misses. Rebound tacked back out. And it's loose. Love it recovers. Right. Fouled by Bird near the midcourt line. Probably a good foul. Eagles couldn't quite secure that offensive board. So yeah, that, that's a tough shot there, a four shot, and that's really tough. Seemed like the second chance one was a good one there in the middle. 
Van Putin comes off, Litsky comes back in. Not necessarily the five for five substitutions we've gotten accustomed to over the last several years. But in these key situations, Donnie Bostwick has broken from that plan before to get his best guys out there and try to keep everybody rested. Coyotes by two, it's Lovett. Gets a pick near the free throw line, Lovett. Throws it to the weak side post for Duffy. Back around for Gilbert outside Lovett. Tough shot from three, not there, but an offensive board by Gilbert inside. Haddock affects the shot and fouls him down low. Man, another second chance opportunity for Kansas Wesleyan. They only in the scorebook have five second chance points, but it seems like their momentum has been able to get them some offensive boards. Should have never had that rebound there, though. I thought we should have had that. Trey Gilbert at the foul line converts, 77% shooter at a Holcomb High School in Holcomb, Kansas. Kansas Wesleyan up three. One more at the line. That one rattles in, 64 to 60. Last four points have been scored by the Coyotes. 11.30 on the second half clock. Bird, Litsky, Ramey, Stokes, and Haddock the five out there. Brandon Bird finally healthy, earning some more playing time. Crossover dribble on the left side, feeds a curling. Ramey gets a pick from Litsky at the top. Hand off Haddock, a lot of pressure on the perimeter from the Coyotes defense. Haddock shot fake, sends the pass left. Now Bird in the mid post. Straight away three from Jansen Litsky off target, battle inside for the rebound, and the Coyotes come away with it. Kansas Wesleyan putting the clamps on defensively, giving up two points in the last three minutes. Here is Duffy up top, rather Gilbert, and a foul called on Oklahoma Wesleyan. It'll go on Bird. Taylor Miller checks back in. I just wish. Litsky, once he sets that pick at the top, would go back down inside. There's no reason he can't go to the hole him, without getting the ball down inside. Gotta get around and get a rebound, buddy. Stokes comes off. Inbound up top for Spear. Coyote with the ball. Here is Gilbert with it on the right side. Now Maupin takes a three with a hand in his face. Hits it off back rim. No good. Falls into Haddock's hands. Eagles run the other way. Brooks passes left for Taylor Miller. Miller has a little bit of room in the lane. Fancy dribble move. Sends it right for Bird. The Eagles slow it up a little bit. Got to keep that ball moving. Ramey cuts off a three. Hits the three ball off front rim. Not there. Out of bounds off of the Coyotes. Lens Ramey's outside struggles continue. He's been top five in shooting percentage from beyond the arc in the conference all year long, but 0 of 5 today. Eagles 6 of 21 from three. They've made four of their last six. Bird looking to inbound, finds Litsky mid post left side. He throws it away in the lane. Stolen by Hunter. Coyotes by four. Coming up on the midway point, second half. Hunter working with the ball. Crosses over at the foul line. Back up top. To Michael Lovett. He's the ball. Lovett works right for Gilbert. Now Duffy mid post left side trying to get underneath Jansen Litsky. Litsky got a finger on the shot and forces the miss. Wesley recovers. They're down by four. Here's Bird inside. Bird a little turnaround from the block. No. Litsky with an offensive Walk. board falls away, makes the shot, but traveled first. Back to back turnovers for Jansen Litsky. Hey, keep playing. Fight through it. Fight through it. Donnie Bostwick encouraging his team as they struggle right now over the last couple of minutes. It was knotted up at 58 four minutes ago. It's now 64 to 60, Kansas Wesleyan. Eagles showing a little bit of fatigue. Here is Lovett on the outside. Hunter lost the handle on it, but recovers. Faces up Bird on the left wing. Bird guarding him tightly, trying to stay in front. Hunter gets to the rack, blocked by Litsky. Ball knocked out of bounds, touched by the shooter who fell down. I thought that was good defense. Roger's facial expression shows some disagreement. Well, I don't know. It seems to me like down inside on both ends, man, there hadn't been anything called. You know, uh, I think a coach from Kansas Wesleyan wanted to know, what do we got? Easton Hunter, it looked like he uh, might have gotten a shot up high. He's getting a little bit of medical attention over there in the right corner. Flat. Hunter, top scorer flat, with 16 flat, flat, today. Caston Ammons has been the uh, top scorer for the flat, Eagles with 17. Flat, flat, He's getting ready to check back in. High pick and roll. Miller racing through the left side. Dump underneath to Litsky. Misses a gimme. Misses a second chance. Knocked out of bounds. And Litsky gets it right back on the right block. Throws it off of a Coyote player out of bounds. Litsky struggling on. majorly right now. And another Kansas Wesleyan player slow to get up. It's Gilbert who's helped up by a teammate. Litsky comes off after a tumultuous couple possessions. Him and Bird replaced by Ammons and Van Putin. Phillip, Haddock, and Miller 
the other three on the floor. 9.27 to go at 64 to 60. Oklahoma Wesleyan trails. They haven't gotten a bucket in three minutes time. Here is Haddock on the low post, floats it up over the top of Mack, and Brooks Haddock up to six points in the day. Eagles need one of their best scorers to step up right now. They pull within two. Where will the defense respond? In the zone right now, Lovett swings left for Mack, holds on to the ball, frees Jeffries. Kansas Wesleyan shooting 51% in this game. Lovett in the right corner. Up top, Jeffries methodical in the half-court set right now. Back to Lovett, works on Ammons. No lanes as Mack tries a deep three over the top of Haddock and cashes in. Gabe Mack, the junior out of Milwaukee, hits his first shot of the day. 67-62, Kansas Wesleyan back up by five as we're starting to come down the stretch. Miller drives in, pauses, kicks ball, back ball, to ball, Phillip ball, at the top of the key. Three, Haddock three, freed, yes. working on Gabe Mack. Haddock knocked to the floor, and that will be a foul on Kansas Wesley, and Brooks helped up. Foul goes on Mack, just the fourth team foul on the Coyotes so far. There's been five on Wesley, and fouls are relatively even. They'll wipe up a spot on the floor right now. Eagles at 45%, 6 of 22 from three. Brief pause right now for everybody to catch their breath. Thanks for spending your Wednesday night with us. Eagle Hoops on 99.1 FM KPGM. Oklahoma Wesleyan battling. They've trailed for a majority of this game. Came back to briefly take a two-point lead, but that's it. Trying to avoid back-to-back -back losses. They fell to Southwestern, another purple team on Monday. Here's Phillip driving inside, tries the runner, hits off back rim. Van Putin can't get the offensive board. That's a tough look inside for Phillip. Eagles down five, don't want to see that deficit increase. Jeffries has it on the left side for the Coyotes. Here is Lovett on the right with the basketball. Gets a pick from Duffy. Lovett through the left side of the lane, kicks left, and it's too far for Spear. Is that one a no-look pass from Lovett, trying to get too fancy with it. Turnover number 12 for the Coyotes. We gotta take advantage of these turnovers. Eagles need an easy bucket. Seems like the turnovers that Kansas Wesleyan have had have been of the dead ball variety. Not allowing the Eagles to really get out on the break much. It's tough against this half-court defense. Anthony Monson, probably the best defensive coach in the conference. Here's Phillip off the screen, traveled with the basketball. Oh boy, 7.59 to go, 67-62 is a Kansas Wesleyan lead. Coyotes upended the Eagles in Salina last February. Eagles have won two of the last three though and nine of 15 in the history of these two schools. The Battle of the Wesleyans, A.J. Range checks back in after a lengthy stint on the bench. He has it up high, feeds Jeffries on the post, takes it to the rim, misses, tip back, no! But the third try, it goes down. Tyus Jeffries is six feet tall and he scores at the rim. Kansas Wesleyan's biggest lead of the second half. They're up seven. Here's Stokes, throws it left corner. Ammons, a high arcing three ball. It's a miss, rebound tap to Miller. He throws it inside for Van Putin underneath, and he scores an easy one on the interior. Timeout for Donnie Bostwick after Van Putin's second chance bucket. 69 to 64 with 7.24 to go. We'll take a quick break. You're listening to Oklahoma Wesleyan Hoops on Sports Talk 99.1 FM, KPGM. Mm. No. Uh, I don't think it's big enough for the play. Oklahoma Wesleyan down five late in the second half that's here up, against that's Kansas that's Wesleyan. 69-64 is our current tally. We got 7.24 on the clock. Van Putin, Philip Ammons, Miller, and Stokes on the floor right now. Eagles playing full court pressure on defense. 
And they nearly get a steal down low. Loose ball. Gabe Mack weaves through traffic along the opposing baseline. Now Spear nearly lost the ball. Eagles need to set up their half-court defense now. 7-12. Remains in the game. Mack has the ball right wing. Overhead pass for Jeffries. Now inside for range. Blocked by Ammons at the rim. Eagles run the other way in transition. Phillip with the ball on the right side. Passes it to Caleb Stokes straight away. Stokes attacking. Jump stop at the rim. Contact and a foul. How about Kaz Ammons playing the best game of his career today. Gets that big block shot inside. And Caleb Stokes goes to the free throw line for a chance to make this a one possession game. Stokes, a workman like 10 points today. Five rebounds to go along with it. First shot, rattles out. Eagles 10 of 13 from the stripe. Stokes at 74%, the miss a little bit uncharacteristic. Not having as easy of a time scoring as he did in the first game where he was 12 of 15 from the floor. Second shot is in. 69-65, under seven minutes to go. Eagles try to set up the pressure, but Kansas Wesleyan blitzes the other way. Tip pass goes right to an open man, and Ethan Spear scores. 71-65 is the tally. Now Coyotes up six. Eagles have Stokes driving in. Hangs over the defense and sets that one in. Caleb Stokes, most vertical player out there, gets the bucket. Eagles down four, six and a half minutes to go. Full court pressure hasn't stopped him much. Now a double team, Mack at midcourt, Ammons gets the steal, has a breakaway layup and an easy two for Kaz, adding on to his game high 19, and it's 71-69 with 6.20 on the clock. Eagles rallying right now, here's a full court overhead pass to Spear, turns around, hands it to Braden White, they'll get range one-on-one -on, -one on the block, kicks it back out, now around, Gabe Mack rises for three and cans that one. Gabe Mack. Two second half three-pointers. Eagles can't rotate on defense. Deficit is five once again. Miller to the rim. Miller high off the glass. Contact and no foul. Kansas Wesleyan comes away with it. Oklahoma Wesleyan seems very frantic in the half court on offense. Here's Braden White. Nearly throws it into traffic to get it across the timeline. Here is White on the left wing. Now gets a pick from range. Turns around from the free throw line. Flicks it right for Gabe Mack on the wing. Mack just hit a three-pointer. Pass goes to the corner, working with the ball. Jeffries gets a pick from range, pauses at the elbow, rises for two, and knocks it down. Jeffries has 20 points today, and Kansas Wesleyan with some momentum right now. It's 76 to 69. Coyotes with 5.20 to go. Miller with it on the left wing. Eagles need to rally big time here. Kaz Ammons, a right side three ball, too strong. Rebound back at the top of the key for Taylor Miller. Offensive board number 11 for the Eagles tonight. Here's Phillip, a set shot triple, not there. Eagles taking some ugly shots in this one. If they do fall in this one, it's because the offense has not been efficient at all. Here's Braden White for the Coyotes. They lead by seven. Jeffries off a dribble handoff, kicks it left to Mack. Shot fake, fires. And knocks it down. Eagles trail by 10. 79 to 69. Donnie Bostwick wants a timeout. Kansas Wesley and everything going right for the Coyotes right now. 444 remaining in the game. Full timeout. We'll step aside. It's Eagle basketball on KPGM. Oklahoma Wesley in a strange position right now. They find themselves trailing by 10, 79 to 69 with just under five minutes to go in the contest right now, Roger. It's a peculiar ball game right now. The Eagles just struggling seemingly on both ends of the court right now. Well, they let it get away from them here in about the last three minutes. And I, uh, my personal opinion is that uh, 
uh, Kansas Wesleyan has shot extremely well from the outside, but we could have got better shots, and we never did. Kansas so, Wesleyan. Uh, we, we've got to score every possession now. 10 of 20 from beyond the arc for Kansas Wesleyan. Worst in the conference, 28% coming into the game. Haddock has the ball on offense for the Eagles, backing down on the left side short corner. Little turnaround, 12-footer, misses. Rebound tapped out to midcourt. Ramey scoops it back up. See if the Eagles can get a second chance bucket. Phillip hoists the three, knocks it down from the corner to pull within seven. 79-72, plenty of time here if the Eagles can get a couple of stops. 4.15 to go in the contest. They double team White, he flips it to Jeffries across the timeline, back to the left side for Gabe Mack, who's knocked down three from beyond the arc in this second half. Four minutes to go, Braden White with it. Now Mack lobs a cross court pass into traffic. Miller intercepts, loose ball touched out of bounds by Miller as he couldn't hold on. Spear jabbed it free. Yes. Staying true to his name, I guess, Ethan Spear. Can't poking that one right. out of bounds. Can't that was a, right. a brutal uh. pass over the top uh. by Mack, and Miller did everything right, jumped it, and then was up in the air, ball knocked free by the Kansas Wesleyan player. Nine seconds on the shot clock right now. This feels like a big possession with Kansas Wesleyan leading by seven. White looking to throw it in, finds Spear on the right wing, shot clock at seven. It's Jeffries one-on-one -on -one with Miller, top of the key. Jeffries, left side, trying to get close to the rim, misses the layup, rebound, falls back into his hand, but a shot clock violation as that ball didn't hit the rim, or did it. Little hubbub going on right now, a lot of finger pointing. Did that ball hit the rim, Roger? It was close. Hard to say, if you said it didn't, they're gonna say shot clock violation. 3.49 remains, 79-72. Eagles have Phillip, Miller, Haddock, Ammons, and Ramey the five on the floor. No Caleb Stokes in this spot. Dylan Phillip a little bit inexperienced, but he can make those outside shots. That's the reason he's on the floor right now. Haddock sets a pick for Miller. Miller driving right side, a little bit of contact. Lost the grip on the layup. Loose ball, and it's out of bounds. Kansas Wesleyan had it, but they stepped on the sideline. Eagles kind of just kamikaze their way into the lane at times. Not a whole lot of direction, uh, it seems. There, I haven't seen three seconds called the last two games, and I'll tell you, they... Inbound to Miller, open underneath, bumped and gets the bucket. Taylor Miller hit very hard, and he gets the bucket to pull Oklahoma Wesleyan within five. Miller is a little bit slow to get up, but a huge and one make there for Taylor Miller. The tough guy is going to stay in. He had no business making that shot, Roger. That's a big momentum shot. But we need a break. Absolutely. Miller playing hard right now. A chance to pull Oklahoma Wesleyan within four. Three minutes, 33 seconds to go. Taylor Miller, 6'1", sophomore at the line. Does struggle from the stripe, though. That one pops out, rebound for Kansas Wesley and A.J. Range in traffic. Five-point ball game, 3.20 to go. Here is Braden White sending it forward for Hunter at the top of the key. The Eagles, a lot of pressure at midcourt, almost forced the turnover. Got to be careful that nobody leaks free. Here's Gabe Mack, right side, dribbles down to the baseline, heaves it up top. They swing it around, White, top of the key, nine to shoot. Lob on the block for Range. Range in traffic, three defenders close to him. Van Putin forces the miss. Range gets the offensive board, but has the shot blocked inside. Now the ball sent forward for Miller, touched out of bounds off of Taylor's hands on the lob pass over the top. Eagles trying to do too much yet again. That pass didn't need to be made. It went off his fingertips. It hit blue and then it went off his. I would have yeah. called it the same way. It's the right call. I just don't like the pass. You don't no, need to turn everything into a Hail Mary. You're right. Eagles Absolutely. down five. Here is Braden White running through. Passes left for Hunter. Pulls up on a shot fake. And they'll pass it back around. Here's Range, short corner right side. Working on Van Putin. Great matchup down low. Range, shot blocked, but a foul called. And he'll head to the line here for a couple. Kansas Wesleyan's been the more physical team in this game, Roger. It's hard to deny that. Two forty-three to go, range at the stripe. 10 points for him today, seven boards. Big free throws here late in this contest. First one in. Range 
Going to have another one here. It's 80 to 74. Van Putin comes off. Eagles play it small with Miller, Ramey, Haddock, Ammons, and Phillip. Second one from range in as well. 81-74. 2.43 to go. Here's Miller at midcourt with it. Phillip pulls up. Left side three ball. It misses. Loose ball in the corner. Who touched it last? The Eagles did. I don't understand the shot. Well, you, you, you would think we only got 30 seconds left. Let's get the best shot we can yeah. get. Yeah, that you one know. hurts. It hurts. Down seven with two and a half minutes to go. Got to take quality shots. You're right, Roger. It seems like it's the last second every time down the floor. Here's some full court pressure. Tyus Jeffries walks with the basketball. Eagles seemingly have gotten some calls their way. There could have been a foul well, called on Phillip to induce that travel. The foul may have caused it, but I'm going to tell you, I'll say overall, these guys have let both teams play tonight. Sure have, in and fact, that's probably the way it should be. Well, I think inside they've, they've missed a lot. Donnie Boswick not happy with the officials after the loss on Monday. Here is Haddock catching the pass in the right corner inside the arc. At the elbow, throws it away inside. Stokes somehow comes back with it. Here is Dylan Phillip racing to the rim. Euro step and a layup at the rack for two. Dylan Phillip in double figures for the second time this year with 11. Wesleyan down five. Ramey called for a hold on he the was. inbound. He was all over him. Lenz didn't like the call. That's the seventh foul as well, so that'll put the Coyotes on the stripe for one and one. 218 is a world of time, though. Mentioned Kansas Wesleyan back to back four point losses. Hey. Against McPherson and then against Tabor in overtime on Monday. It's Braden White, the senior from Topeka at the line. Just 10 of 18 free throws on the season. Doesn't have a point today. Front end is good, though. 82-76. Eagles, regardless of the second free throw, need to be patient on the offensive end. High arcing foul shot, falls off into the hands of Stokes. Miller, Stokes, Phillip, Ramey, and Haddock. A good offensive unit out there. Here is Haddock, right side, has a look from three and knocks it down from the right wing. There's Mr. Break shot Brooks, and he pulls Wesleyan within three with two minutes to go. Can the Eagles get a big time stop? Braden White nearly lost the ball in the backcourt, and they get it across with Tyus Jeffries. Eagles out of position. Gabe Mack wide open right side three, too strong. Offensive board for Hunter. Here's Hunter curling around, ball poke free by Phillip, and it's loose. Phillip has it on the deck. Eagles try to call a timeout. A whistle and a jump ball is the call. Donnie Bostwick is near center court. So is Anthony Monson. The two head coaches can't stand that call. It Phillip dove on the ball in the pile. Eagles had so many guys calling a t trying to call timeout. They don't get it. Great effort there from the Eagles. They don't get the result they want, but with a Kansas Wesleyan timeout, it's 82 to 79 with a minute 45 left. Donnie Bostwick frustrated, rightfully so. His team having to fight for everything right now. Big game, Roger. That was Tensions terrible. running That's high. That's terrible right now. Both benches saw it, the table saw it, and got thrown nobody. I mean, that's just being asleep. Yeah, I think everybody knew that Wesleyan had possession and was trying to call timeout, but if you're the Eagles, you got to shake that free. You saw yeah. Got to play, still got more time left, only down three. It's a big time for some of the top guys to step up. You saw Brooks Haddock hit a huge three from the right wing a couple of possessions ago. Uh, right now, Kansas Wesleyan's offense has gone a little bit stale. They have three points in the last two and a half minutes. The Eagles on a 7-3 mini run, and if you go on another 7-3 run down the last minute 45, you come out of here with a win, Roger. Well, uh, Kansas Wesleyan is trying to limit our possessions as long as they can. You know, they're trying to milk the clock down as much as they can, but... Um, Going to be a tough battle here. Kansas Wesleyan has the basketball. They got it on the alternating possession arrow on that controversial call before the whistle. 20 on the shot clock, minute 45 on the game clock. Valentin Van Putin getting alerted by the bench that the play could be coming his way. Coyotes get it into Jeffries. Now up top, Gabe Mack. They might try a high pick and roll. Here it is. Range sets the screen. Mack runs left, throws it weak side for Jeffries on the wing. Back around up top for Mack. Way too strong on the three. Loose ball. Phillip picks it up. 
He's hit from behind. Free throws coming for the Eagles on the other end. Finally, one of those wacky bounces <laughs> lands in the hands of an Eagle player. Seems like so many of these threes have just taken kind of kooky bounces off the rim. They've fallen into the hands of Kansas Wesleyan almost you know, every time. <clears throat> all I can say, this is not the official's best night. No. You said they were letting them play, though, Roger. They have both ends. I mean, when you see bodies on the floor, as much as been on the floor, you know they've been letting them play. One and one for Dylan Phillip. First free throw, good. 11th game of his Oklahoma Wesleyan career. He has 12 points. Pulls the Eagles within two on the free throw. It was a third foul on A.J. Range, by the way, too. Still got a minute, 31 on the clock. Phillip sends the shot up there. Nothing but net. One-point game. Minute and a half to go. You just put good foul shooters in there right now. Eagles in the full court pressure that's given the Coyotes a little bit of trouble, but it's also given them some open threes. Inbound goes deep into the corner for Braden White, holding on to the basketball, shuttles it forward to Hunter, and now across the timeline for Jeffries. He's doubled up over there, finds White in the middle. They're trying to post up range down away from the play. Ball works up top for White. 16 on the shot clock, defender fell down. Van Putin with the block shot inside on range. Eagles down one with a minute 10 left. Here's Bird with the basketball in the corner and he'll slow it up at midcourt. Bird throws it back to Phillip, and we got a timeout for Donnie Bostwick and the Eagles with a minute two on the clock. 19 to shoot, trailing 82 to 81 right now. This is the biggest possession of the game so far. Eagles trail by as many as 15 in the first half, as many as 10 here in the second half, but could they be in the driver's seat here with just over a minute left to play? Donnie Bostwick looks calmer than ever in the huddle right now. I think he's lost his voice a couple times over in this basketball game tonight, Roger. But what do you think he's drawn up in this huddle well, right now? I'm seeing we got to play defense, play defense just aggressively we have. We're not going to give him a three-point play. Uh, you know, uh, and, and if a guy's going to get an easy bucket and you're going to foul him, be sure he doesn't make it because uh, you're going to shoot one and one. Uh, I think that's exactly what he's saying. But I think he's also trying to calm nerves, say, listen, there's a ton of time left. Yeah. Don't panic. You can't win the game on this possession either way. No. Down one in the timeout. I'd like to see Caleb Stokes maybe matched up one-on-one -on -one here, go aggressive and maybe get a call at the rim. Stokes, one of the better free throw shooters out there. Obviously, Brooks Haddock is going to attract a lot of attention. I love Brooks Haddock, but I don't know if getting the ball to him in this situation is the best move. No, I, I, uh, I like Phillips in there. Uh, I think Lance Ramey, I don't, I don't think I want him taking the shot. He hasn't. Uh, he just hasn't been on tonight. So the five so, out there, it's Miller, Haddock, Ramey, Van Putin, and Stokes. The five on the floor right now. Stokes is going to inbound from right in front of us, in front of the scorer's table. Back to Miller, up at the top. A minute to go. Eagles down one. Here's Van Putin, top of the key, facing up with range. 13 on the shot clock. Eagles get it to Haddock on the right side. Haddock frees himself, rises for three, has that one rattle around, no good. Rebound for Kansas Wesleyan. Range gets the board. He's been tough today. Kansas Wesleyan up by one. They get it into the front court. Knocked out of bounds by Ooh, Ramey. I thought that was off his It hand. looked like it was Ooh. off of Ramey. Ooh. And it's out of bounds here on the near side. Eagles put in some defensive guys while they can. They like the length of Phillip and the reach of Bird in this situation. Don't need to foul. There's 41 on the game clock, 23 on the shot clock. Side inbound for the Coyotes. They'll throw it into the backcourt for Lovett. Eagles bring a little bit of defensive pressure back there with Ammons. 38 seconds on the game clock. 19 on the shot clock, Amitz harassing Lovett. Lovett almost got him to fall down. Now Jeffries works it left to Hunter, 10 to shoot. Eagles need a stop. Range sets a pick. Hunter on the left side, six to shoot. Van Putin on him defensively. They throw it right for Jeffries. Jeffries is confused, three, two. Hunter open for three, off back rim, boarded by Ammons. Eagles have 15 seconds, and a timeout called by Donnie Bostwick to set up a shot to win the game. Who called that? Donnie did on the sideline. Oh, well, I saw him either one. This guy must saw it. I didn't see it. I thought, what's the whole whistle for? 13 seconds left in the contest. 82 to 81 is the tally. Kansas Wesleyan out in front. Eagles have a chance to win the game. Don't think they've had a buzzer-beating win here since December of 2018. Josh Wilchcomb 
had a tip in at the buzzer to beat a winless Avila team. The Eagles undefeated run. Okay, if you're over there in that purple group, who are you going to say you're going to defend? All five of them. <laughs> but I would probably say don't give Brooks an open look. I don't think you can sleep at night if Brooks Hannock beats you here. And and I would uh, I would I would sure look at Phillips. 13 look, seconds left. I, I think I'd go inside. I try, but the way they're calling it, I'd almost be afraid they won't call anything. 13 seconds left. Eagles down one. They'll inbound from midcourt. Stokes will throw it into Miller, into the backcourt. Stokes, or excuse me, Miller with 10 seconds, gets a pick, drives straight to the rim, nobody guards him. Miller gives the Eagles the lead with six seconds left. Taylor Miller off the screen, nobody picked him up, and he goes straight to the hole, and the Eagles take the one-point advantage. I asked you earlier, I'll bet you money Donnie has got a play drawn up that nobody's seen. And I'm telling you, they went to sleep. That was awesome. That was a great job by Donnie Bostwick in the huddle. 83-82, full time out on the floor. We can talk about Eagle basketball all day. <laughs> we'll keep it right here. That was beautiful execution. Taylor Miller straight to the cup. Remember, he had that big three-point play, Roger, where he seemingly came up a little gingerly on his leg. Yeah. He had quite a burst on that play from the right wing and straight to the tin. One of the best defensive teams in the conference doesn't even pick him up. That was huge. That was huge from Taylor Miller there at the end. One of the better moments in his young career so far. I looked over there to coach at Kansas Wesleyan, and he's looking like down here. What in the world happened? Yeah, that was uh, just a, a defensive lapse from Kansas Wesley. Now Coach Monson, he gets a shot here, Roger, with six seconds left to try to draw up a play to win the game. Well, and, and uh, this is what scares me. I wish it was three. I wish it was three seconds. Yeah, well, I wish there was zero. We can't let a long pass go here. We, we've got, you know, we need to get up here. We need to get up here. I don't, I'm. And, and you're leery of a foul in this situation. It will be Kansas Wesley needing to go the length of the floor, down one with 6.8 seconds left. Gabe Mack will be the trigger man. Eagles have two guys at the free throw line, three at midcourt defensively. The inbound goes into Lovett. Lovett breaks away, top of the key. Lovett in the lane, spinning. Block shot by Van Putin. No good at the buzzer. Eagles come away with a huge win here at home. I'll tell you Miller. about it. <laughs> You got a feel for that team down there. Kansas Wesley and led by double digits at multiple times in this game, Roger. But it's the Eagles who steal the win on the home floor here. They go to 12 and 5. Kansas Wesley and falls to 7 and 11. We'll have the post game show coming up. We'll see if we can talk to the man, Taylor Miller, who got the game winning bucket. You're listening to the Eagles on KPGM. Hey. Hey, Gino, could I Taylor? Taylor. Yeah, I, I, I just want to talk to the first one. Sure. 